Good morning. Welcome to ITN English News. I'm Malshani Gamagli. We take a look at your headlines first. The United States underscores the desire to continue building the US-Sri Lanka relationship. The Prime Minister says central banned bond scam has not been forgotten. The World Health Organization commends Sri Lanka for proper handling of the new coronavirus. And in news overseas, 40 Americans infected with the new coronavirus taken off the Diamond Princess cruise ship. And now the news in detail. The United States underscores the desire to continue building the U.S.-Sri Lanka relationship in mutually beneficial ways. Speaking exclusively to ITN, a spokesperson of the U.S. Embassy in Sri Lanka said this also included security issues. Earlier, the United States Ambassador to Sri Lanka, Elena B. Teplitz, affirmed that she will convey to Washington, D.C., Sri Lanka's strong objections to the travel restriction imposed on Army Lieutenant General Shavendra Silva. Foreign Relations Minister Dinesh Gunawardana yesterday formally conveyed to the U.S. Ambassador Elena Teplitz Sri Lanka's strong objections on the imposition of travel restrictions by the Government of the United States of America on Lieutenant General Shavendra Silva, Commander of the Army and Acting Chief of Defence Staff, as well as his immediate family. On Friday, the Foreign Ministry had issued the Government of Sri Lanka's immediate reaction following the announcement by the U.S. Secretary of State. Foreign Relations Minister requested that the United States Government review its decision. The chief monk of the historic Alutgamakhande Vihare Temple, Venerable Kokkavila Vipulasara Thera, was conferred the title Chief Sanganayaka of Bentaravalalavita of the Kalutara district. The Prime Minister Mahindraja Paksha handed over the relevant scroll to the Venerable Thera. The religious ceremony to confer the honorary title Kirti Shri Vageshwar Vinayacharya with the post of Chief Sanghanayaka to Venerable Kokka Villavipulasar Thera took place at the historic Kande Viharya Temple. Prime Minister Mahindraja Paksha handed over the relevant scroll to the Venerable Thera. A large group of people, including the Anunayaka Thera of Malvatu Chapter, Venerable Nian Godavichita Siri Thera, the Mahasangha, and opposition leader Sajjit. Premadasa were present at the religious ceremony. Speaking at the ceremony, Prime Minister Mahindraja Paksha said that even though a government was formed following the previous election, they still do not have a majority in the parliament. The Prime Minister noted that the remaining few days of the current parliament should be dealt with cautiously. He said that the bond scams and other malpractices that took place under the previous administration have not been forgotten. However, the Premier ensured that political revenge will not be taken. The Prime Minister added that the drinking water issue of the area will be given a permanent solution by the end of this year. The World Health Organization has commended Sri Lanka for the manner in which the COVID-19 virus was dealt with. Sri Lanka representative of the World Health Organization, Dr. Razia Penzi, mentioned this in an exclusive interview for the Independent Television Network. The one case that has been confirmed in Sri Lanka, we have to acknowledge and appreciate the good work that the systems in Sri Lanka has done, specifically in quickly identifying the suspected case, then confirming the case through the panel that confirmed the case. The PCR panel was developed in-house in Sri Lanka, and later on, the results were confirmed by the reference laboratory in Hong Kong. Once the case was diagnosed, the, uh, the sus it was suspected, quickly the patient was admitted, put in isolation, quarantined, and the case management started. And what we hear that the patient is, has recovered. And uh, so we have a good story in that case, sense that there was one suspected case confirmed and taken 
good care of so that the, the patient is fully recovered. The other thing is that because Sri Lanka receives a lot of tourists from China, which is the country which has the largest number of cases, all those passengers who are arriving from China or who had arrived, they were also put under surveillance and the tracing was done, the, the necessary tests were done and all the tests returned negative. Even the students that were airlifted from Wuhan, which is the epicenter of the outbreak, uh, they were put under quarantine and uh, till today we do not have any other positive case. So we have to appreciate the good work done in Sri Lanka. One of the important aspects, as you would know, was regular briefings to the press by the highest authorities in the Ministry of Health so that the information was given to public almost in real time and that kind of prevented the panic which otherwise would have been there because the disease as i said is new and we tell lots of unknowns on the disease president gotabia rajapaksha inspected the progress of port city colombo yesterday attention was drawn to the plan of the port city during the national law conference held under the patronage of president rajapaksha recently the China Communication Construction will spend $1.4 billion for reclamation activities and infrastructure facilities of the port city, which will change the landscape of Colombo. A building complex will be constructed at an additional $15 million. A special committee had been appointed to study legal drafts related to the reclaimed land. A special economic services zone will be declared following the adoption of the same by parliament. This will be the first ever dedicated economic zone for services. The Port City project has been implemented under a tripartite agreement between the Ministry of Urban Development, Urban Development Authority and China Communication Construction Company. Construction of buildings in the city will commence in the middle of this year. The first phase is expected to be completed by 2023. Finally, in local news, foundation stones were laid to construct 50 houses for estate workers at Haddon Valley Estates under the Indian assistance. It took place under the patronage of Minister Ramesh Patirana. Speaking on the occasion, the minister said that a daily wage of 1,000 rupees will be given to the estate workers from the 1st of next month. 1.2 million rupees will be spent on each house. A land deed will be given to each house which will be built on a seven perch plot of land. The houses with all facilities will also get drinking water and electricity. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Ramesh Patiran appreciated the support of the Indian government. Minister Arumugan Thondaman, Acting High Commissioner of India in Sri Lanka, Vinod K. Jacob, were present on the occasion. India has been a friend in good times as well as in bad times. You are a real friend. We are very proud to say India is the rising giant of world and also undoubtedly the one of the biggest economies in Asian region. You have been helping us in tremendous potential in many different ways. Now we are starting a project to construct 10,000 houses. We thank your government Meanwhile, the constructions of a fully equipped auditorium at the Hatton Thondaman Vocational Training Center were launched. The Honorable Mahinda Rajapaksha had a very successful visit to India earlier this month and Minister the Honorable Arumugam Thondaman also accompanied your Prime Minister and held fruitful discussions with the Indian leader. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has a special place for all of you in his heart and he very fondly remembers the warm and enthusiastic reception you gave when he visited your region. We strongly appreciate your role in the overall development of Sri Lanka, particularly growing tea which is famous in the entire world. We are also fully committed to your area's well-being, development, skill development. We will continue to work with the friendly government of Sri Lanka. That's all the news today. Good morning.